in here. I haven't had my coffee yet, but I promised I'd come over in the morning and help Mr. Lucas with his broody hen. She's started to hash out chicks. One of them um, didn't make it last night. I think one of the other hens hopped on the nest and cracked the egg. Um, so I cleaned out his coop yesterday, opened up the back part and put some bedding back in there. So hopefully his beautiful barred rock will be able to safely brood her chickens back in there. But um, I told him I was going to help him do some things with his coop to help those chickens not to get up on top of that nest. So I'm going to go see if I can accomplish that now. There we go. Alrighty. I got all this cleaned out yesterday. Hopefully she'll brood them back in there. But all the chickens like to get up in this nest and um, this nest needs to stay undisturbed. Undisturbed. <laughs> Trying to talk quietly. I hope you guys can hear me. Anyways, I gotta go get some water. Well, it looks like the Leghorn is showing some interest in the box. I blocked off the outside uh, to the entrance to the coop so that they couldn't get in. They can lay their eggs in here. They can go out in free range. So hopefully this will work. Oh, Papa's ran off. And I'm pretty sure he went down the trail where I like to look for those chanterelle mushrooms. So I'm gonna see if any of them have grown? Oh, there he is. Yep, doing his morn morning ritual of peeing on all of Mr. Lucas' trees. There's some little tiny ones. They're not big enough to eat. So I'm going to leave, leave them here and hopefully we'll get some more bigger ones. See, they're just little. Little tiny, tiny. Oh, we got some new ones coming up over here. Still too tiny. I'm still going to leave them be. I mean, you could get little tiny ones and pickle them, but I just want to let this patch come in really well before I start harvesting. Looky here. Yep, those are harvestable. Yep, right here. Definitely going to get these. I'll show you what they look like. I know I've shown you guys before, but these are actually two joined together. These don't have gills. They're just like ridges. Oh, this is wonderful. There's another one. Gotta get it. Makes my day. Jackpot! Yep, I'm gonna get that one and a couple more from over here. Boy, I got more than I thought. Hmm, wonder if there's anything else around here growing that I can pickle these with. I almost forgot to tell you guys. Look, I started this mushroom grow kit and I had forgotten all about it. But two days ago, I started this and look it, I'm already getting these mushrooms. Yeah, they got a way to go. I'm keeping it inside the tiny house and it's just gonna grow and grow and grow. You know what, I might just leave it out here, out of the sun. So, yay, I'm gonna get some oyster mushrooms. For whatever reason, these next few clips were totally sped up. I had the phone in my pocket, so I'm pretty sure that I hit the wrong button and it just was super speeded up. So I am just foraging for dinner. That'll make a nice dinner, don't you? Yeah, maybe like a stir fry, saute, something or other over a bed of pasta, and maybe throw some chicken in it. Yeah, I'm gonna have a great dinner tonight. Oh boy, what a day. I got some stuff going on that I gotta take care of right away. So I'm gonna just call this video here. Wish me luck on dinner, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.